Hello. Can I see a raise of hand if any one of you here plans to continue your studies to master degree or PhD? That's quite a lot. Thank you. So, did you know that learning does not end even after formal education? So, learning. Learning is a process of acquiring new knowledge, new understanding. We learn the moment that we were born. We learn how to cry, we learn how to talk, we learn how to walk. So today, I would like to share with you all about learning. Learning never ends. Learning is a lifelong journey that knows no boundaries. However, in our society, there's this often misconception or a stereotype about learning. And I will take three stereotypes or misconceptions. And the first one is that people often hold the belief that once they're done with school, they're done with learning. They just go to work, earn money, and work for the rest of their life. That is because they think that what is out there to learn? They already graduated, they have enough knowledge to earn money. And another misconception is they think that it is too late. They're too old to learn new knowledge and new information. They should enjoy their time in retirement instead. And another misconception is ignorant. There is often a lot of saying in our society, especially in Cambodia, about learning and education. For example, most people who graduated from a high level of education, like master or PhD, they often think that they are very diverse in many topics, that they know it all, know it better than other people. Or in Khmer, you can say that, But you can see, like, look at this picture that is ignorant. But that is not the case. However, I believe that we are prone to be outdated by new information every single day because every day people are trying to develop something new or discovering the unknown. For example, the scientists probably discover a new species in the Pacific Ocean or they are trying to learn more about the black hole to prevent mankind from being stuck into a mysterious, oh no, mysterious hole. Who knows? So that is why I want to share with you all these two mindset that I adopt um, in my learning process. And I firmly believe that do not, do not let old age or ignorance or um, ignorance be perceived as a limitation for you to acquire new knowledge or new understanding. I will raise this case of this woman here. So recently, as you know, like the 12th grader just finished their um, national exam, or you know it as Badok. And she was 57 years old, and she did the national exam. And after the national exam, she was interviewed and asked what was the reason of her didn't doing the national exam at her age. And she responded that she wanted to continue her st studies, and she wanted to be a role model for the younger generation. And she even stated that So she basically explained the whole uh, idea behind my TED talk right now. So yes, that's what I mean. So I'm here today to share with you all the two mindset that I adopted in my learning process. And the first one is getting out of your comfort zone. I know, I know, it's easier to be said than done. Because we humans, we, like we like to be in a familiar environment because we are afraid of any possibility or danger that could harm us in any other sort of way. So that's why we don't want to get out of our comfort zone. But let's look at it at this perspective instead. If you don't go out there taking the risk, how will you learn? How will you grow? How will you develop yourself? So I'll raise example of myself during my high school years. So in my high school years, I wasn't very active. I did not like to participate in extra activity like public speaking or volunteering. Because at the time, I was holding this mindset of like, So, and I would just say that, 
I'm lazy or jammersen to my friend whenever they invite me to join this type of activity. But now, looking back at it, the reason behind my non-participative self was because I was afraid of failure. I was afraid of being embarrassed. I was afraid of being looked down upon. Because what if I fail if I join those activities? But now, looking back at it again, it's kind of dumb for me to think that way. <laughs> because why should I care about other people's perception of me? What matters is that I learn and I grow. So that is why by getting out of your comfort zone is very important. And I want you all to at least remember one key thing from my speech here today, and, and that is rejection is a redirection. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to get rejected because it will only enhance the process of learning. And we, if we embrace the idea of rejection and mistake is okay, it will only broaden our wealth of knowledge. So the second mindset I adopted is to foster an open mindset. What I mean by fostering an open mindset is that is you strive for new information, getting out there, embrace the curiosity by asking questions or anything. So, and don't be ignorant. And there is this famous quote from a famous Greek philosopher, which are most of you know him, his name is Socrates, And he once said that the awareness of ignorance is the beginning of wisdom. So that is why it's very important for you to foster an open mindset to learn. And especially, we can learn from engaging in activity like interaction with other people like this one so we can get the most out of conversation especially by engaging in active listening embracing the curiosity by asking questions and seeking diverse viewpoint from different people and you can apply this method in social event like this one but it does not mean that you have to be in a social event in order to learn something or anything. You can learn from a interaction from day-to-day -day life. I will raise this example of myself again. So I was in a lecture, I was taking notes. So I was sitting next to his friends for all, and mind you, we both use MacBook. And for MacBook user, you know that if you shift command three, you screenshot it the whole screen. And that is the only way that I know uh, that how to screenshot. So at the time, it's very time consuming because you have to screenshot it and crop out. And my friend, he saw that and he asked me, oh, is that how you screenshot it? And I said, yes. And I asked him back, how do you screenshot it then? And he told me a way if you shift command four, you can drag out the area that you want to screenshot, which was way less time consuming. And I'm so happy that I learned it. And he also did not know that if you shift command three, you screenshot the whole thing. So we both kind of learned something from our interaction here today and it's very important and it's very useful for me because I use it until today and it helped me a lot in my note taking skill. And it's very, it's very important because it, it does not have to be big. It can be this small useful detail that you can learn from day to day interaction. That is what you can learn from interacting with other people. So that is why I said you can learn from interacting with other people. You can also obtain countless information from many sources. Because with, especially with our advanced technology, we can just get sources of information with just one touch away. For example, you can get information from books if you are a big reader. Or if you're like me and more fond of listening, you can try audiobooks, podcasts, or another alternative, which I believe to be human best invention, the internet. So that is why I said you can learn by fostering an open mindset, engaging activity, and willing to learn. So I would like to highlight the key main point of my speech here today is that learning never ends. Imagine a world where we all individual embrace the idea that learning never ends where we foster an open mindset, where we believe that every day the world presents us with an opportunity for growth and discovery. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be a world full of wisdom. Thank you.